Arena. Ninth straight sellout for the College of Charleston. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. And hey, for Stony Brook, Keenan Fitzmorris, the seven footer, a Stanford transfer, coming off a career high 25 point performance. They'll need his scoring, but they'll also need his size to help with that relentless rebounding of Charleston and to protect the rim. Fitzmorris transferring from Stanford did not get much action there. Geno Ford has loved not only his ability to attack the paint, John, but his versatility as a seven-footer. No, he, he's a good passer out of the post, uh, but most importantly, at seven foot, you recruit a big guy to protect the rim, and Charleston loves to drive the ball to the rim. They're also a great offensive rebounding team, so Fitzmorris is really key, even off the ball today, for Stony Brook. Stony Brook in the road red, Charleston in the home whites. Our officials, Tim Comer, Ryan Sassano, and Adam Floor. Right into Fitzmorris in one-on-one -on -one coverage by Charleston. Ante Persovic gets the defensive assignment this afternoon and was all over it. Walled up, didn't let Fitzmorris anywhere near the basket. Here is the seven-footer. Now with five on the shot clock. Anya Cohn with one. And a stop for the Cougars out of the gates. Persovic twice stopped Fitzmorris one-on-one. Fitzmorris didn't get close to the rim. Dalton Bolin on his senior day off on his first attempt. And John, tempo will be interesting today. Stony Brook is 334th in college basketball in tempo. Charleston's 30th. Coach Ford said, I would rather be down 28-20 than up 42-40 at halftime. I know we can't keep up for 40 minutes, but we need to control the tempo. Bursovic and one. How about 6-10? and able to handle the ball like that. And that's one of the interesting things about Charleston. No matter who gets the rebound, that becomes the point guard. Bursovich pushing it up the court. In fact, in that big Towson win, we saw it in the opening. He got a pick and roll. Who sets up pick and roll for a 6'10 guy? Well, Coach Kelsey does, because Bursovich can handle. Dante Bursovich, what a story. Coming from Croatia to America, to play college basketball and begin his career at Division II Southeastern Oklahoma State. Well, if you haven't heard of that school, pretty good NAI basketball. They also are the alma mater of one Dennis Rodman. Great call by you. And now a turnover as Patrick Robinson the third picks it up. Robinson the third had that altered second effort, and the Seawolves come down with it. Huge that the Seawolves have two clean defensive rebounds already. Again, Charleston, one of the best offensive rebounding teams in the country. So good for, so far, so good for Stony Brook. They're playing slower, keeping the Cougars off the boards. Frankie Policelli. Stony Brook runs ISOs. It's going to be Policelli, Stevenson, Moore, or Fitzmorris. And the answer's there for Bowen. Charleston shoots the third most threes in the country, but that's not what's been winning for them lately. They haven't been shooting the ball great. They've been what Coach Kelsey calls using attacking drives. That's how they beat Towson, and that's how Bowling scored right there. That was what was so revealing about the win over Towson, because we've often talked about their three-point shooting is there's a three from deep for the Seawolves, but they only went four for 16 from beyond the arc against the Tigers. And still won. That the sign of a really good team is they can win different ways. Charleston wants to shoot threes, but that's not the only good thing about their offense, even though they welcome those made threes, and like I said, they're going to launch them. But... If they don't make threes, they also rely on their running and their offensive rebounding. Pat, not a one-dimensional team. Pat Robinson, the third, getting the start on senior day, coming off a 12-point performance. He's been their clutch shot maker this year. He scored 2,000 points at West Liberty. So regardless of the level, this guy is a bucket getter. That's off the hands of Bowman. And he'll go back to the Seawolves. Gino Ford. In his fourth season as the head coach at Stony Brook, and he's talked with us about the resilience of this team. Basically, a seven-man rotation. They've lost Dean Nolan, Eric Clark, key injuries. And on the other side, Pat Kelsey. What he has done with this program, how would you describe the way that he's built it in just two years? Transformative, and 
kinetic energy. The energy in the building, the energy in the style of play, the energy in recruiting, where he gets multiple players, a deep team to unite behind a common cause. Nice backdoor pass for the Seawolves here. And three is off. Polichelli tried to reel it in, and it's taken away by Robinson. Pat Robinson the third, it'll stay with the Cougars. When you talk about Pat Kelsey and his pedigree, Skip Prosser, disciple. Well, great coaching background, and what's interesting about that play, Robinson got the defensive rebound. We've mentioned this. Whoever gets the rebound for Charleston becomes the point guard. That's how they push it so fast. They don't wait to outlet. They just get it and go. Smith cannot hit, and a battle for it here, and a foul on the Seawolves. It's on Stevenson Moore. And that is his second, a big second foul on Tyler Stevenson Moore, the leading scorer for Stony Brook. Coach Ford has a huge decision to make here. The analytics people say, let a top player play with two fouls in the first half because they rarely foul out when you look at the overall data. However, it's too early to risk a third right now for Stevenson. There's a slam for Ben Burnham. You know, we're going to be calling 10 different names for Charleston today. This is a balanced, deep team. Burnham, an outstanding one-on-one -on -one player coming off the bench. They rank third in the country, folks, with 33 bench points per game. As Anya Cohn hits the jumper. You said it. Legit depth. Top three in the nation in those reserve points. Here's Burnham. He's been a key six man for this group and puts it in with the left hand. Great teams. They just don't have starter quality guys starting the game. They have starters coming off the bench. Burnham, Robinson's usually off the bench. These guys could start a lot of places, and that's what makes them special. They don't drop off when they sell. Deep three is short. And I, I think Stony Brook shooting a little too quick for the tempo that they really want to have a chance at the end of this game. As Coach Ford said, if we're up 42-40, I don't know if we can keep that up. But if we're down 28-20, we'll hang in there and have a chance at the end. Now a sharp drive to the bucket just doesn't go for Anya Cone. Another quick shot for Stony Brook. They, they won't be able to keep up at this tempo over 40 minutes. Larson. Well, there's a... Rarely do you have a spot in college basketball where there's 363 teams where there's a 300 slot difference between tempo of two teams playing. Exactly. You've got to know who you are. Slow things down. Like, I like this possession right here. Take your time. Get the ball inside. Policelli has seven of the first nine for the Seawolves. Coach Ford gets guys. There's that old coaching cliche. i got to put them in better positions. Well, Coach Ford does that. He gets his scores in the right spots. Polichelli's doubled his production in every area this season as we get a foul on Roberts, taking us to our first timeout. Frankie Polichelli, he's a New York kid making a massive jump in his graduate season. And he's got seven of the Seawolves' first nine. March to March is presented by Principal. Giorgio, look, the peanut butter box is here. Ralph, that's the Chewy Pharmacy box with our flea and tick meds. It's not peanut butter. I know, I know, but every time the box comes, we get the peanut butter. <laughs> yes, because Mom takes the meds out of the box and puts them in the peanut butter. Sounds like we're getting peanut butter. Yes, but that is the Chewy Pharmacy box. The peanut butter box is here. The peanut butter box All right, I'm out. Pet prescriptions delivered to your door. Chewy. Meet a future mom, a first-time mom, and a seasoned pro. This mom's one step closer to their new minivan. Yeah, you'll get used to it. This mom's depositing money with tools on hand. Judging. And this mom, well, she's setting an appointment here so her son can get set up there and start his own financial journey. That's because these moms all have Chase. Smart bankers, convenient tools. One bank with the power of both. Chase, make more of what's yours. Out here, you're more than just a landowner. You're a gardener, a landscaper, a hunter, 
because you didn't settle for ordinary. Same goes for your equipment. Versatile, powerful, durable Kubota equipment. More goes into it, so you get more out of it. Remember college? Five-hour energy got you through then. And now, we'll get you through again. Rediscover five-hour energy. Psst, psst. With Flonase, allergies don't have to be scary. Spray Flonase Sentimus daily for non-drowsy, long-lasting relief in a scent-free gentle mist. Flonase, all good. Time now for Worth a Watch, brought to you by Principal. When you watch Charleston, you're going to see a team outworking you, defending, running. And you're going to see a team that wants to outshoot you. They're going to launch a bunch of threes. And there you see the effort, running, and rebounding. It's all-out intensity and sharing, shooting threes. This is the Charleston identity, running, shooting threes. And this is a team you just can't focus on one or two guys. They are balanced. You can't get more balanced than their performance against Towson. 13 points by Smith, then another five guys with 12 points. When you scout Charleston, you don't know who you need to stop because this team can beat you with so many guys. Eight different Cougars have led the team in scoring in a game this season. Coach Kelsey calls it the power of unity. When we're all together, no one cares who gets the credit. We can accomplish anything. One CA coach said, you could tell no one cares who shoots because the ball's zipping around. No one's looking for their own. The guy who gets the shot is the open guy when you play Charleston. Meanwhile, for Stony Brook, Frankie Policelli off to the sharp start. Anya Cohn from the baseline, not this time. And there's Burnham's the point guard this play. Whoever gets the defense rebound, they're going. Gordon has checked in. Ben Burnham. They call him Benny Buckets. We talked about the three-point shooting of Charleston. And that is never going to change with this team or under Coach Kelsey. They believe in the three. They'll take every open three they possibly can. But he calls them rhythm threes. If you notice, that's a catch-and-shoot three. They don't take deep ones. They don't take them off the dribble. Excellent shot selection. Inside 10 on the shot clock here for Robert to attack. Doesn't go. Burnham with another rebound. And Coach, Ben Burnham was a starter last year. He's taken on a reserve role this season. If that doesn't reflect the culture as he's rejected, what does? You're, you're absolutely right. You, and that's a quick shot. And a good shot by Stony Brook. I mean, Policelli's off to a phenomenal start. Once again, though, I, I like how Stony Brook's getting back on defense. You see right here, they're making Charleston work. That's key. I don't know if they want to shoot as quick as they are. Offensive foul drawn by the Seawolves. Little two-man game over here between Smith and Burnham sharing the ball. Yeah, actually, that's Horton. But you see, it's a rhythm three. It's not off the dribble. It's not contested. The offensive philosophy for Charleston is attacking drives, shots at the rim. They get those off offensive rebounds and running, and rhythm threes. Those three things make them a multi-dimensional offensive team. Frankie Policelli, coach, had combined for just 11 points his last two games. He's already got 10 in the first seven minutes. A nice drive to the bucket. It was stuffed by five. He's playing sick today. Driving and getting fouled. Doesn't look sick there. Babacar Fai. Fai. So it's hard not to love the energy and depth of this Charlton team. But I got to admit, Fai is one of my favorites. You look at his body type and you expect a traditional big guy. All of a sudden, he's going coast to coast, pushing the ball, handling the ball. He's a shot blocker, a ball handler. He has a unique skill set and, like everyone on this team, really plays hard. He had the dunk that really changed the momentum of the game on Thursday night. Babacar Five was a soccer player in Senegal, but kept on growing 
and his uncle finally got him to start playing some basketball when he was 16 years old. He did not pick up a basketball until he was 16. Immediately fell in love, went to a basketball academy in Senegal, and next thing you knew, he got to the NBA academy, and that's led him eventually here to the Cougars. It's interesting how tall guys who start in soccer, Akeem Olajuwon would be the most famous, pick up the game pretty easily on the hard court. He had offers from Arkansas, Vanderbilt, and St. John's, as that's a foul on Bolin, but he fell in love with Charleston. It, fascinating to see that the Cougars emerged despite those power conference schools expressing interest. Well, a few things. Charleston has one of the top 10 winning percentages in the history of Division One basketball. So there's something about this place. They've had great coaches. I hear legendary coach John Cress is in the crowd today, who the court is named after. Obviously, Coach Kelsey is doing an amazing job. But one of their models is our city. I mean, Charleston's a pretty attractive place to be. There's a lot of places to go, things to do, great weather, and they, th th that program has a lot to offer. And guys like Fi end up coming there over Power 5 offers. Nice way to spend a Saturday, right? Start with some noon hoops, and then there's no shortage of local watering holes and restaurants to hit up after but, the game. When I was at LaSalle, we played at the Charleston Classic. I'd love to get back uh, for <laughs> leisure as opposed to business. 3 2 zone here. I like the changeup. Bolin. He wore a cowboy hat on his senior day. He is that cowboy for this team. I had a CA coach say, when Bolin walked into our gym, he acted like he owned it. He says, I think this guy thinks he owns every gym he's ever been in. He has a lot of, or, or Coach Kelsey flat out says, he's the toughest player I've ever coached, and it rubs off on his teammates. Now a turnover. Scott to five. Didn't complete it, and the Cougars are able to keep it. Off the fake, Rain Smith, a little bit long. And an over-the-back foul called on Scott. We've got a T.O. You talked about him, the legend, John Cress. The court named after him here in Charleston. At Jersey Mike's, they slice your order fresh, right in front of you. And let me tell you, watching that can send a rush of emotions through a person. Excitement, impatience, baby-like wonder, indecisive, anticipatory chewing, nervous pacing, happy claps, and finally, jealousy. Because that's this guy's sub. I should order one. Mm, good idea. Sliced right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. A sub above. Me gustaría, me gustaría pedir algo de comer. Ah, ok, por supuesto que puedo. How do you learn Spanish? I learned with Babbel. So Babbel, it's kind of like if my teacher is in your phone. <laughs> kind of. And the best part is to help me make new friends like you. Language for life. Go to Babbel.com and try it for free. How can your base layer help you stay active? Make it the only base layer with invisible medical grade knee support at 90 feet of high strength cables and make them fully adjustable to give you complete control. Scientifically proven to help you overcome injury, eliminate pain, and give you the confidence to get back out there so you can do more of this and this and this. People call them many things. Yeah, magic pants. We call it supportive apparel. Learn more at stoco.com. Hi, this is Lisa from 4 Imprint. Yes. I'd like 50 welcome wows, 300 customer I love it, and 200 team member. Oh, yes. Certainly. You know we got some brand new. Woohoo! Dial up the wow factor with promotional products from 4 Imprint. We specialize in awesome items that are certain to awe and guaranteed to deliver some ooh, yes. From apparel, backpacks, drinkware, to high-tech items. Wow. I love it. Woohoo! Go to 4imprint.com and find some wow now. 4 Imprint for certain. College Basketball on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Principal. Helping you plan, protect, invest, and retire. By AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable, secure. And by Sleep Number. Discover proven quality sleep only at a Sleep Number store or sleepnumber.com. 
senior day here in Charleston. The Cougars honoring their four graduate students, Ryan Larson, Dalton Bolin, who's 24 years of age, Jalen Scott, and Pat Robinson the third. This senior class has achieved history with 27 wins in 30 games. And for the Cougars, Dalton Bolin's hat, that, that hat they have to travel with them throughout March. You gotta have some swagger to wear a hat like that. It looks good on Bolin, and it looks terrific on his young fan there. <laughs> John Fanta, Dr. John Giannini with you. For Stony Brook, Frankie Policelli has scored 11 of the first 13 points. Stevenson Moore playing with two fouls. In and out on the baseline, Jay. Well, they tried to run that set for Stevenson Moore, just in and out. They want to get him going. I'm really impressed how Stony Brook's getting back on defense. Uh, Charleston's having to play in the half court. They're not getting easy ones running. Ten on the shot clock here. Into the hands of Bowen. A tip off the backboard, and Stony Brook coming down with it. It's Petway. So something to watch for. When Charleston shoots, you'll see four, sometimes five white shirts attacking the rim like sharks going after meat. When Stony Brook shoots, you're going to see four red shirts running backwards. That's why they're stopping this Charleston fast break. Very different approaches to offensive rebound. And the element of pace of play coming into effect. That one's off, and here's Bowen. Now Bowen's the point guard. Get it and go. Whoever gets the rebound. Bowen with the extra pass. That three a little bit long for Robinson, the third, and Policelli reels it in. Stony Brook's doing a lot of things right in terms of transition defense and defensive rebounding. Now they just have to find an offensive success pattern, and there's a quick steal. That, boy, there's a pick six. That's a scouting report steal right there. By Ryan Larson, the Wofford transfer. Yeah, Larson read that play from a million miles away. It's a horn set, and you kind of know the ball's going to go to one of those two elbows. First points off turnovers for the Cougars. Here's Fitzmorris. He's been quiet today. Can't hit. Charleston's post defenders are not letting Fitzmorris anywhere near the rim. Robinson, the third extra pass to Berzovich. It's off. And it'll stay with the Cougars because of the effort by Scott. And here's, look at that. That's Scott report coming from behind over there. Larson knew the ball was going to the elbow. He saw the Stony Brook players back with his ball, the back turned to him so he could blindly take that gamble, and it was a good gamble. Ryan Larson, Pat Kelsey has called him such a godsend to what they do. The effort on the defensive end. And he's got NCAA tournament experience from his time at Wofford. Three a little bit short for Rain Smith, who just checked back in. Four people on the glass. Third in the country in offensive rebounds with close to 14 per game. Trying to weave through this zone. Ben Burnham. And yet another offensive rebound. Four looks on this possession. Burnham can't hit and finally Fitzmaurice has it. What one coach said is if they're making threes, they'll kill you. And if they miss threes, they're still okay because they get so many extra shots off the offensive glass. This style of play, if you have the depth and talent to do it, it really works. Policelli has been that man thus far. He's off. He's four of six from the floor. The rest of the team, one for 13. A turnover by Berzovich here. We've talked about what this means for Charleston. Stony Brook's tied with a bunch of teams in the back half of the standings. That's important because this is the last day of regular season play as that jumper falls for Petway. They want to see where they'll be in the conference tournament from a seed perspective. Who will draw? The, these conferences, and there's another Charleston three, and a long rebound that jumps down to the fast break. And so, the Seawolves convert on it. So it's interesting if you don't want to go totally up tempo against Charleston, but they send so many people to the glass that if you do get a rebound, you can run because they don't send people back. It was Petway. Now Burnham shot altered, but we've got a foul. 
Stony Brook and Dr. John, you said they would bring a level of fight, and that's what we're seeing from the Seawolves. Yeah, no question. They're getting out on the break, long rebound, and the Seawolves hanging around just down four at TD Arena. March to March is presented by Principal. This cheesesteak is so freshly grilled, you can still hear it sizzling. I can hear it too. Me too. Actually, it's the... Hello? Cheesesteak? Grill. Grill right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. Go anywhere, do anything in the wildly capable, electrified Jeep Grand Cherokee and Jeep Wrangler 4xE. During the Jeep President's Day sales event, get 2,000 total bonus cash on these 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee models. Visit Jeep.com for new inventory available near you. This is Fast Twitch, a new energy drink from Gatorade. Take the summer off. 200 milligrams of caffeine, electrolytes, and zero sugar. Start fast with Fast Twitch, a new energy drink from Gatorade. Your best defense against erosion and cavities is strong enamel. Nothing beats it. New Pro Enamel Active Shield actively shields the enamel to defend against erosion and cavities. I think that this product is a game changer for my patients. It really works. When you buy a box of Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, you can support my missions. <laughs> yes, Jalen. Well said. Mm -hmm. Look at that freshly sliced turkey. At Jersey Mike's, there's some things you just got to see. Like those lovebirds over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's deep eaten. Sliced right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. Tomorrow at 2.30 Eastern, get ready for more hardwood action as the top 44 pro women ballers face off in a high-stakes bucket-dropping battle where they call the shots. Don't miss the return of Athletes of Limited Basketball on CBS Sports Network. Welcome back to what they're calling our city. That's what Pat Kelsey has built here in Charleston. Nine consecutive sellouts inside TD Arena. And you look at Geno Ford, Stony Brook. They fought hard here to be within four. What have you made of the effort of the Seawolves? I love what they're doing in terms of defense. I, I love that they're battling Charleston on the glass. They've just been struggling to find extra scoring options, but the more that they can control the tempo, the more they'll have a chance down the stretch. Very few teams keep up with Charleston in games that get up into the 70s and 80s. I told you about it a little bit ago, but this is a Stony Brook team that has dealt with some major injuries. Dean Knoll, Aaron Clark, Jared Fryer would have been their sixth man, and Sabri Phillip, he had an Achilles injury. It's been a, a tough year because they expect it to be much deeper. Clark and Knoll are Division I all-conference players out of the Ivy League and Northeast Conference. These are not bodies. These are not depth players. These are proven, outstanding guards, and that's what this team is missing. When they put everyone on this team can come back. When they put Pellicelli, Fitzmore, Stevenson Moore with two Division I all-conference guards, you're going to see a very different Stony Brook team. Beautiful dish to Burnham with one hand. Miscommunication. You saw two people stop the ball. The reason running's effective is defenses aren't set. And a defense has to match up one-on-one. -on -one. If you get two people on one, someone's open like Burnham was. And it came from Ryan Larson. Got a wet spot on the floor. So there's the two people on the ball, and a good guard like Larson knows, look, two people on me, that means I'm in passing mode, and he finds the open Burnham. And that's just communication. But when you're talking about sprinting full speed and trying to identify five people and who's matching up with who, it's easier said than done. But that's running gets you those advantage baskets. 
deep three for the Seawolves. That does not fall. Stony Brook just seven for 22 from the floor. Here's Larson. Step back from the corner. Burnham, yet again. Ben Burnham, and he comes off the bench. Remember the motto. If they make their threes, they'll kill you. If they miss their threes, they're still okay because of offensive rebounding. Burnham has 13 points. <laughs> and there's a lot of time left in the first half. And he did not score double figures the last game. That's the point. You can't focus on any one player on this deep, balanced Charleston team. Anyone could beat you on any given night. Toby Anyakone, the freshman looking for Policelli, and just was out of his reach. And there you see, just crashing, and three people on the glass. So, Coach Kelsey likes football analogies. He says, we talk about Aaron Donald. I want you to go for <laughs> offensive rebounds the way Aaron Donald goes after quarterbacks. And I love this saying, your players don't do what you expect, they do what you inspect. They grade their players on offensive rebounding every practice, every possession. Seven offensive rebounds, make it an eight by five. And now he's fouled. And once again, if you look at when that shot is taken, there's four white shirts just swarming to the paint. And that, folks, is a big one because it's the third foul on Tyler Stevenson Moore. I like Coach Ford giving him the chance to play with two fouls in the first half, but now he's clearly out to the second half. But Coach Ford, we said with injuries, especially to Noel and Clark, he's got very few options. So he's trying to get as many minutes as he can out of Stevenson Moore. And there, the pick, almost oh! the pick six. They will count that. They will count that for Petway. Needless to say, that was still a very athletic play by Horton. Yeah, that was fun. This is LeBron James S catching the ball from behind. I don't know if that was goaltending. Heck of an effort play by Horton. That's the other thing, Coach. They've got athletes. Oh, yeah. Tip out here, and the Seawolves have some numbers. This off to Anyakone, the freshman. Gino Ford has loved his intensity. Here's Fitzmorris. The transfer just backing his way in on five. In and out. The kind of start it's been for Stony Brook. It's Fitzmorris' best move of the day game so far. Just didn't go in. Horton Cash. Rhythm threes. Catch and shoot. Toes on the arc. This is a well-coached team with great shot selection, and they really know how to set each other up. All threes are not equal. Off the dribble threes, deep threes, contested threes, low percentage. Rhythm, catch and shoot, those are efficient shots, and Charleston gets them. Now with seven on the shot clock, Fitzmorris driving on five. Tough luck, but we got a foul, and they will call it a shooting foul. What's missing for Stony Brook offensively has been Fitz Morris. He's coming off 25 points at North Carolina Wilmington. Early on, Charleston did a great job walling him up, not letting him get near the basket. The last two he got there, he just didn't finish. He's 0 for 5 now on the game. We were talking with Geno Ford earlier this season. He said, look, when you are at Stanford, but you're not playing a ton of minutes, there was a process of getting him here and just figuring out how great he could be. And Gino says Keenan Fitzmorris is still figuring out how great he could be. Uh, he's just scratching the surface. He's older, but not that experienced. Next year for Fitzmorris, even though he's a grad student, it's going to be like a freshman, a sophomore year jump for Fitzmorris next year. By the sounds of it, you think that Stony Brook could be a dark horse in this league next year? Clark, Clark played one game this year healthy. He played Yale, the first place team in the Ivy League, and dropped 20 on them. So these are legit players that they're about to add. They have half a team right now, but they don't even have to recruit them. The guys they need are there. Great pedigree for this program coming into the CAA. There's five and one from Bolin. 
Yeah, it, you can see the chemistry on that play. The smiles, the taps, the sharing of the ball. There's the effort by Horton. Was it goaltending? It was called goaltending. Not so sure. Great athletic play. Bowling setting up five, and the Cougars are on a roll. Up 12. Get help reaching your goals with J.P. Morgan Wealth Plan, a new tool in the Chase mobile app. Use it to set and track your goals, big and small, and see how changes you make today could help put them within reach. From your first big move to retiring poolside and the other goals along the way, Wealth Plan can help you get there. J.P. Morgan Wealth Management. Here's my dip. Did you bring your seven layer dip? Yeah, but it's just some layers of beans. Resourceful. Or did you invite all your friends to watch your favorite team? They're losing, but that's okay. So sweet. So you need. Baby, there's nothing better. I bet you've probably done something that deserves a Dr. Pepper. Did you pretend to like sports or your girlfriend's dad would like you better? What? No, I love sports. Me too. Everyone's done something that deserves a Dr. Pepper. It's a way to serve. Among my patients, I often see them have teeth sensitivity as well as gum issues. Does it worry me? Absolutely. Sensodyne sensitivity in gum gives us a dual action effect that really takes care of both our teeth sensitivity as well as our gum issues. There's no question it's something that I would recommend. Oh, when my Marco's craving hits, it really hits. And with unlimited medium one-topping pizzas for $6.99 each, I can cover tonight's cravings and tomorrow's. Nice. Marco's. Pizza lovers get it. We give thanks to the athletes who took big risks, who beat the odds despite being our balls because of their skin. But to change the status quo, you have to be willing. This is the month we remember. But more importantly, we dream of something bigger. Tomorrow morning at 10 Eastern, one of Europe's most storied rivalries returns to the pitch for an SPFL showdown you won't want to miss. Catch league leaders, Rangers, and Celtic face off in the Old Firm Derby here on CBS Sports Network. John Fanta, Dr. John Giannini back with you. The Charleston Cougars up a dozen on Stony Brook. This is a team that was picked fourth in the CAA preseason poll. And what they have done is nothing that anybody on the outside could have ever seen coming. Well, you didn't know how good Berzovich was or Larson. They really made some key additions. And this is a team that, in addition to that dominance, scheduled well. Opened up the season with the number one preseason team in the country. North Carolina, Chattanooga, Richmond, Davidson, Colorado State, Virginia Tech. All NCAA tournament teams this last year. Kent State, they're at the top of the MAC. So this team, they've done everything they can. Now, some people will say that the people on that schedule haven't performed up to expectations. So in hindsight, their strength of schedule is not what they had hoped for. But I don't know how you penalize Charleston for what other people have failed to do because they did everything possible in terms of scheduling and performance. Here's something that's amazing that I don't think you often see in a preseason poll. You voted as a coach in these. So they were chosen fourth in the preseason poll. But they were the only other team besides Towson that got a first place vote. That came from one Pat Scary, the Towson head coach. He told us earlier this week, I thought they would be highly legit. Scary saw it coming. Well, you know, that game, which you were there for, was an incredible battle. And Coach Scary prizes toughness, intensity, the same things that Coach Kelsey and Charleston have. So that was beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Coach Scary saw that coming. Here's the deal with Charleston. The teams that they played in the NCAA tournament field a year ago, their first six games were against teams that went dancing last year. They went 5-1 and one against those teams. Yeah, they, they did everything possible, and that's... You know, not on that list is North Carolina, final four team. So uh, they scheduled great. They played great. 
to me, that's a deserving team. And the eye test, I know you're not supposed the eye test, the way this team rebounds and shoots threes, they are a team that can win in the NCAA tournament. We've got a foul on the Cougars. Let's see who it's on here. It's the sixth team foul, so they had one to give. So they remind me, my LaSalle team lost the Sweet 16 to Wichita State. Yes. People didn't think Wichita State was a Final Four team, but they were, and they were because they were deep and unbelievably relentless. They played at a level of intensity that was at the highest level. That's the same qualities this Charleston team has. First foul on Berzovich. And now some words between Berzovich and Fitzmorris. Well, that's just it. You said eye test, and we know that there's analytics and metrics in the whole quadrant system. But a 27-3 and three team, Fitzmorris hitting, there has to be more than just going through the analytics to then firmly make a decision. You watch this team, you see they're nine deep, as Berzovich is just off, and you said it yourself, they come off to you as an NCAA tournament team, do they not? Well, you can't prepare for them. You can't prepare for this. Whoever gets the rebound gets it and goes. One of the fastest, and that's a perfect example of how they play right there. The speed that they play with. Opposing coaches, here's another line. You tell your team, we're gonna, out, we're gonna outrun these guys, or out-rebound them. And opposing coaches say, you know, you really can't outwork Charleston because they play to get tired. They don't play to be efficient. They play to wear themselves out. They're going to run and rebound to exhaustion and then let someone else come in. Coming up on AT&T 5G at the half, we'll send you back to our New York studio and join Craig Gumbel, Clark Kellogg, and Seth Davis for the latest around college basketball today. That's AT&T 5G at the half coming up next. You often say, control what you can control. They did challenge themselves in the non-conference. Those team performances that they challenged themselves against haven't necessarily been what they thought they would be. So it's going to leave the committee with a really interesting scenario. You're talking about a team with a net of 55. And Pat Kelsey said to us earlier this week, is there not something to be said about playing 30 games and you've won 27 of them? Yeah, no, I, I, I'm in complete agreement and recognize the bias in the system. Realize the teams that get a quad one opportunity every single week just because of their affiliation. This Charleston team, I guarantee you, they can play at the highest level. And as a coach who coached a long time, teams won't be able to prepare for Charleston. I'm telling you, they play faster, they shoot more threes, they crash the boards harder, they don't worry about transition defense because, as Coach Kelsey says, we play against ourselves every day. We learn to crash and get back. They are a tough matchup for anybody at any level. And they could certainly leave no doubt as here's a nice dish from Scott to Burnham, who's got 15 points, and win the CAA tournament, which comes March 3rd to the 7th down in D.C. We'll have the semis and the final here on CBS Sports Network March 6th and 7th. Policelli's had a hot hand. Cannot hit. And there's the point guard of the moment. Whoever gets the rebound. Scott this time. That went off Stony Brook. They will correct this call. And they do. Yeah, it'll really be fascinating to see what happens because in that CAA tournament, here's what's at stake today. Charleston folks and Hofstra are both 15 and 2 at the top of the standings. It will stay with the Cougars. Hofstra, though, owns the head-to-head -head result. They went into TD Arena and beat the Cougars. The Pride going for the one seed in the tournament today at two against Northeastern on Long Island. Burnham is stripped and a foul. It's on Policelli. That's his second. And here's a look at that resume. Everything is spot on except for obviously the record versus quad one in the strength of schedule And as we've said when you look at that schedule when you say hey, here's who we're gonna play North Carolina Virginia Tech Richmond Davidson Colorado State Chattanooga Kent State Old Dominion to me that sounds like a top 100 schedule easily so do you penalize Charleston for things that are completely out of their control and not only as we've said have they won 
they've dominated. S scoring margin, rebounding margin. Th th this team literally could hardly do more than what they've achieved this year. Bold reels it in. Dalton Bolin now pulling up from three. Dalton Bolin! Goodness! Yeah, the amount of three-point shooting team on this team is at the highest level. And obviously, they love the three. Bowling could have drove that ball, but if they have a rhythm open three, they're going to take it. And upsets, and I'm not sure who you'd qualify it as an upset, but let's say they're playing a team with a bunch of NBA talent. Listen, Charleston's going to make 10 plus threes. They average 10 threes, and those teams win. Burnham with the reverse. Benny Buckets have a half. 17 points, and Bowen the Cowboy delivered the lasso. It's a fun way to play. Running, playing together, sharing the ball. Charleston keeps rolling. Trapper Beefs, fake protein. Guys, can we take a quick protein break? Protein City. I got my beans, my bars, my goose, my glumps, my fizz. I don't know what that one is, but you want in? I'm good, man. I think Goop was a bad choice. Old Trap, what's your beef? They call him Psycho D. He is Dalton Bolin. He loves being this team's energy bunny. <laughs> that he, he's as you said. His energy off the charts. He owns every gym he's ever been in. And it's not only toughness, it's unselfishness. What a wonderful teammate. Yeah, Coach Kelsey says he's the toughest coach player he's ever coached. Get this, well, here's Stony Brook now holding for the last shot. They'll get into action around eight seconds. Try to get a shot at round five. Seawolves won for their last nine. Could really use a bucket here. Stevenson Moore, the leading scorer with three fouls. It's been a non-factor. Here's Anya Cohn, the freshman, with three seconds. D3 for Petway. What a half by Charleston. All business by the Cougars. They're 20 minutes away. High character guy. Recruits are going to gravitate to him to, between his personality and his NBA experience. And, you know, these two coaches, B.D. Claxton and Coach Kelsey, they have elite programs at the top of the CAA now. Charleston shooting 44% in the first half with Burnham too shy of his career high with 17. Berzovich just putting somebody to sleep and then finishing. Berzovich is shockingly good. Shooting threes, posting, handling the ball. And what attracted him to them was his rebounding at Southeast Oklahoma. He averaged 11 rebounds a game. And if there's one stat that transfers from level to level, it's usually rebounding. Scores at a lower level don't always score at the next level. But rebounding usually translates. And Berzovich showing he's capable of doing a whole lot of good in addition to rebounding. He's also learned the English language in two years. That's amazing. I can't even imagine. Here is Bercevich again. And as a passer as well, he can do that. Larson with 10. Here's Scott. Great defense by the Seawolves here. Bolin driving. And there's the putback by Bercevich. They play 30 seconds of defense and then that happens yeah, no question the, 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 it's frustrating for opponents that as you said play good defense and then they end up giving up the second shot by the relentless offensive rebounding of charles tyler stevenson more with the triple he had three fouls in the first half and was scoreless he's the leading scorer for this stony brook team Bolin is fouled by policelli that's policelli's third Bercevich leads the Cougars in rebounds. And you have to finish defensively when you play Charleston. Just having Charleston miss a shot, that's only half of the work you have to do. Now you have to get a clean defensive rebound. you got to box out. 
Hopefully you don't overhelp and get rotations. That's what happened last time. They helped on Boland's drive, which led Persevich wide, wide open for a rebound. Dalton Boland back at the line. It's his seventh season in college. I was at Indian Valley High School in Ohio. Didn't have a single scholarship offer coming out of high school. He showed up to an open gym at Division II West Liberty with some buddies about 90 minutes from his house. And they gave him a chance. That open gym led him to an opportunity at West Liberty to play D2 hoops. I love how everyone's path is different. Next year, Charleston has some top 100 recruits in. Right now, these guys playing for them aren't top 10,000 recruits, but work ethic and talent that gets a chance to develop, that's how this Charleston roster has been developed. Here's Keenan Fitzmorris on the back down. We had a great feature on AT&T 5G at the half. I'm bowling. A renaissance man of sorts. At one point at West Liberty playing with an eye patch. Drive to the hoop with Robinson the third finishing. That eye patch was used because he had a, a very severe injury, but he played through it, and he had his best year from three-point land with yeah. just one eye. Yeah, when, when a coach says someone's the toughest player they've ever coached, that is the mm -hmm. ultimate compliment, and that's what Coach Kelsey says about Paul. How about the way Robinson the third kept the ball? Off to Larson, wide open. And Sarvin comes down with it. Fitzmorris turning just off. A look to run. 30th in Ken Palm tempo. Bolin catch and shoot. Spins down. We got a foul. And that one is on Stevenson Moore. That's his fourth. Nice drive over here. The defense parted a little bit like the Red Sea on that situation. Robinson, a hard driver. Tough coach with Stevenson Moore, the leading scorer for the Seawolves, and here he is now with four fouls three minutes into the second half. Yeah, that, that couldn't go much worse for Stony Brook in that situation. So Stevenson Moore leads the CAA in minutes played, number two in America in minutes played. They want him out there, they need him out there, but the foul situation isn't going to allow that. Three points, four fouls, 14 minutes for Tyler Stevenson Moore. We have seen him come up huge for this team this season with big shots. Led Stony Brook to a New Year's Eve win in their conference opener over Northeastern with clutch shot making late. And Stevenson Moore, only three points, not having his characteristic game due to foul trouble. And here's another steal. Robinson. And one. Pat Robinson the third. And has some acrobatics off of it. So, a very underrated part of Charleston's team is their defense. People talk about the fast break that we see right here originating from the defense. They talk about their rebounding. They talk about their three-point shooting. All those stats are nationally elite. But their defense took control of the game against Towson. It's taking control of this game. You feel their defense. Timeout, Stony Brook. And more than anything, all smiles. This Charleston team is fun, folks. The new Grand Wagoneer with panoramic sunroof, available Macintosh reference entertainment system, passenger display, and massaging Palermo leather trimmed front seats. It even has one more thing, a captain's chair. Get 1.9% financing for 72 months on the 2022 Wagoneer Series 2 and Series 3. Search new inventory and locate a dealer near you at Wagoneer.com. Peaked on that a little bit. Let's try that again. Get a little bit of break from left to right. Distance really good. Pick out our intermediate target. Look at it from chest height. Give me some speed. Repetition is the key. Beautiful job. Let's try that again. 
You ever try cash backing? It's earning 3% of drug stores with Chase Freedom Unlimited. So I can save on something special for a first date. Wait, that's all for a first date? Whoa. All right, come on. Earn big with Chase Freedom Unlimited with no annual fee. How do you cash back? Allergies don't have to be scary. Defeat allergy headaches fast with new Flonase Headache and Allergy Relief. Two pills relieve allergy headache pain. And the congestion that causes it. Flonase Headache and Allergy Relief. All good. Mmm, your morning coffee. Hot, delicious, comforting. But by the third or fourth cup, your stomach might not feel so good. If that sounds like you, replace your afternoon cup with 5-Hour Energy. It's perfect for when you're feeling coffeeed out. Coffee in the morning, 5-Hour Energy after. Your stomach will thank you. Discover 5-Hour Energy. to March is sponsored by Principal. Welcome back to TD Arena. Charleston up by 24 on Stony Brook. A ninth straight sellout crowd. Our city rejoicing. It's time now, with this being the final day of CAA play, for Dr. John Giannini's All-CAA Team. Estrada, an incredible, unstoppable score. You see Jameer Nelson Jr.'s numbers comparable to Estrada. He's had a great year. Nicholas Timberlake, we've seen what he could do. He just had 34 at Charleston. Amari Williams, a dominant defensive in rebounding force. And lastly, Bolin, we have him in this game, the heart and soul of the top team in the league. Any coach would love to have those five guys. Look at this crowd. Oh, it, it, they are having a blast. <laughs> they are. It, it, now, it, what they're developing there is interesting. What one coach told me is the way he evaluates jobs is the home court advantage. If a place has a great home court advantage, that makes it a great job. Clearly, that's the case at Charleston right now. Burnham. Career high 20 points for Benny Buckets. Burnham, a starting level, a good starting level player off the bench for Charleston, showcasing their depth. This has just been a clinic by a 27-3 team in Charleston. They clinch a share of the regular season title in this league with a win and a needed answer for Stony Brook to just find some footing. That was Roberts from downtown. Great ball movement to Rain Smith from Berzovich. Smith, a terrific shooter, and this team knows how to get threes. Get the ball to the post, kick it out. The most open persons on the opposite side of the court, so skip passes are deadly. Seven triples for the Cougars. How about the dish from Berzovich? Uh, the, the, the skip passes are so effective because people help off the person furthest away. That's the open person. The best way to get it there, skip it. Policelli is fouled. He'll go in the line. Taking us to a timeout. Ben Barnum. He's embraced the role of coming in off the bench after starting last year, folks. That's the epitome of Charleston Cougars basketball. Sacrificing for the greater good of this team. And today, Benny Buckets has a 20-piece. This is Fast Twitch, a new energy drink from Gatorade. Two hundred milligrams of caffeine, electrolytes, and zero sugar. Start fast with Fast Twitch, a new energy drink from Gatorade. I love puppies. Well, I love that I switched to Verizon. My other network used to drive me crazy. Yeah. And with Welcome Unlimited for just $25, I love that I got an awesome network and saved money doing it. I know, $25. But what I love is that it's guaranteed for three years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what I love is I got to keep my phone more savings. But I love... 
We're sitting on a sign here. Switch and get Welcome Unlimited for just $25 a line. Guaranteed for three years. The savings that last on the network you want. Verizon. At Nutro, we believe in growing healthy dogs. Our nutritious food is made with high-quality, natural ingredients to help dogs live full and active lives. Let's grow healthy dogs. Among my patients, I often see them have teeth sensitivity as well as gum issues. Does it worry me? Absolutely. Sensodyne sensitivity in gum gives us a dual action effect that really takes care of both our teeth sensitivity as well as our gum issues. There's no question it's something that I would recommend. A promise is a trust not to be broken. Whether spoken with an oath. Do you solemnly swear? It's your first day. You know I got your back, right? Or seal with a pinky. In 1922, a group of soldiers launched USAA with a promise to take care of their own. And after 100 years, we're still taking care of the military community and their families. That's our mission, always. College basketball on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Jersey Mike's, a sub above. And by Under Armour. I'll look back to 2018 when College of Charleston beat Northeastern to win the CAA tournament. That night, Joe Cheely went for 32 points. Grant Riller ended up getting looks in the NBA with 20. And you take a look at the last five champions, which just shows you, Coach, Hey, anything can happen at the CAA tournament coming your way March 3rd to the 7th. We'll have the semis in the final on CBS Sports Network. I think Bolin just gave us a wink. He did. They're having a blast. <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, committee. Hey, committee. Put us in. Man, he, that guy can do it all. He, he's special. I mean, anyone who wakes up at 6 in the morning to lift with the football team or play a season with an eye patch and has that kind of swagger opposing coaches say, hey, this guy came in owning our gym, owns every gym he walks into. You know, he's a magnetic, contagious, positive force. And if you're out there saying, oh, tough guy, wore the cowboy hat on senior day, he's got that makeup. Folks, he is the all-around guy. And here's why. Horton off on the three. He taught an anatomy class at West Liberty. He taught anatomy. Wow. It's because he's so into lifting. Lives in the weight. <laughs> he rides his bicycle to games as well. The guy is just fascinating. He, he broke his foot last year. He only played in three games. So he went to the beach near Charleston. And he would do Navy SEALs drills by laying near the shore and taking the water and trying to build himself up with more toughness. Always looking to get better. Dalton Bolin. Petway driving and scoring. Petway really athletic. We saw him get a steal earlier here. And now the 2-3 zone trying to slow down Charleston a little bit. And I like 2-3 zones when you have a 7-footer because your 7-footer gets to stay at the rim. Horton off to 5. Wide open, Rain Smith from the corner. Ball reversal, getting the ball from one side to another. Regardless of defense, the most open person is on the opposite side of the court. So how are you going to get the ball there? But when you hear people talk about moving the ball side to side, that's why. Defenses help off that weak side. That's where open shooters are. Coach, how big of a trait is it for Charleston that their bigs can pass? Oh, it's an incredible trait. And here you see Fitzmorris trying to go to work, but Fi defending the post. Fitzmorris getting nothing easy because of the physicality of Charleston. Fitzmorris can't get to the rim. Nice dish from Smith into Burnham. He's swarmed. And we get a foul. But your, but to your point, they have four guys, five guys who pass well, four three-point shooters. It's really hard to guard. And we saw earlier Bercevich within, within assist. There's five within assist. So to your point, John, these are centers. Their last two three-point shots came out of assist from the centers on the court. Fouls on Keenan Sarvin. The fact that they go from Ante Bercevich 
to Baba Karfai inside. Yeah. Super deep. We talked about it. Third in the country in bench points. They don't drop off when they sell. Rain Smith off. And you see the four white shirts in the paint. Like, it is going to be a rebounding war when you play Charles. Five with the foul. And on the other side here, it's a, a Stony Brook team. We've told you folks, a shorthanded year with injuries. This uh, a tough weekend to close on. They had to play at UNCW on Thursday. They fought hard, only lost by seven points on a big night for Fitzmorris. And now coming to the Cougars, Ben Burnham has been unbelievable. He's got 22. How did he just put that in? He's off balance. He shot that falling down. But you mentioned Stony Brook's last three games, Hofstra killer game, at North Carolina Wilmington killer, at Charleston, super tough. But they played all those teams to single-digit games. In fact, they led Hofstra for 25 minutes and lost by three. Frankly, they look out of gas today. And traveling is called on Horton. Policelli with the bucket on the previous possession. He's got 15. Here's another look. Off balance. <laughs> Still goes in. Some days it's your day. And an ovation from this crowd. It's a 5,100 seat building. On Thursday night, they had about 6,000 and change there. It, it, it's loud. It's too capacity. They're excited. The fans are having a blast. And they really believe this special season is going to continue in a big way for the Cougars. Now eight on the timer. That way, Angers from contact, couldn't hit. And Smith comes down with it. Smith, Bolin, Horton, Larson, and Fai on the floor! Whoa! Baba Carr! Baba Boo! Can you say that's a defiant dunk? Fai is a flyer. Another turnover. This team is something else. Bolin off. Boy, the crowd groaned. You don't see many crowds disappointed with a missed <laughs> shot when you're up 29. That's just it. They've become a destination to watch. Yeah. Like, there's plenty of things to do around Charleston, huh? Well, it, absolutely. But this team's entertaining and efficient and successful. They are the best show in town. Baba Carfi can fly, coach. Absolutely. And defy it to his opponents. Perfect pass by Smith, sending it home. Nice job by Fi. March to March is presented by Principal. studio, an architecture firm, and homemade barbecue sauce. They're called small businesses, but to the people who build them, there's nothing small about them. That's why at T-Mobile for Business, you'll save more than a thousand bucks versus Verizon. And with price lock guarantee, we'll never raise your rate plan. So you can keep your focus on toe turns and making sure the sauce is extra spicy. At T-Mobile, there are no small businesses. It's time for the ultimate sleep number event on the Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed. Science proves quality sleep is vital to your mental, emotional, and physical health. The Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed, it's temperature balancing so you stay cool. It senses your movements and automatically adjusts to help keep you both comfortable all night. Our smart sleepers get 28 minutes more restful sleep per night. Save 50% on the Sleep Number 360 Limited Edition Smart Bed, plus 0% interest for 36 months on select Smart Beds. Ends Monday. Your best defense against erosion and cavities is strong enamel. Nothing beats it. New Pro Enamel Active Shield actively shields the enamel to defend against erosion and cavities.
I think that this product is a game changer for my patients. It really works. Gatorade Fit. Fitness starts from the inside out. Get healthy, real hydration. And no added sugar, artificial sweeteners, or added colors. Gatorade Fit. Healthy, real hydration today helps you feel tomorrow. They're clapping and smiling in Charleston because their Cougars are up 29 on Stony Brook. Time now for the Jersey Mike sub above play of the game. By out in the open court, he will go above the rim to send it home. Terrific athlete, perfect pass by Smith. And that sums up a big part of how Charleston wants to play, running and with great energy. Baba Carfi, to think that he first picked up a basketball at the age of 16. And he averaged 16 minutes a game during his freshman and sophomore campaign. It's not like he plays a ton of minutes, but when he's in, he makes a huge impact. And a foul here, that'll send Lampton to the line. Lampton might be one of the best, not might be, he is one of the best 10th men I could imagine. I've seen him come in games and change games. For example, in the overtime win at Towson. And Towson's outstanding. Lampton comes in the game and gets blocks and contest shots and rebounds to ice the game at the end. So don't be surprised to see Lampton play an important role in some games in the CAA tournament and beyond. He's 6'11 and is a terrific rim protector, a big-time athlete. Originally from Cameroon. Charles Lampton starting his career at Dawson Community College in Montana. It is amazing to see the different pathways that Pat Kelsey has found to build this roster. So the big four small college guys. Scott is from Bethel. Yep. You have Bolin and Robinson from West Liberty. Uh, you, you have uh, from Southeast Oklahoma, you have Perzovich. And these guys are hard to find. I mean, to find four high-level players out of the small college ranks is an incredible job of evaluating talent. And there's one of them right there, Robinson. Pat Robinson the third. He's been their big-time shot maker. I, I, I can't remember a team having so many high-level small college transfers. Coach Kelsey told me I credit their evaluation. Like, they figured out these guys can play and succeed at a high level when other people didn't see it. Friendly bounce for the three for Stony Brook by Nahar, who has checked in. Pat Robinson, the third story, his story is amazing. He was at Division II Holy Family in Philadelphia. He was living on couches, didn't get housing. And there's a three from Rain Smith. Didn't get any accommodations. They gave him a spot on the roster, and he lived in a teammate's living room on two couches. And now he's at the College of Charleston on a 27-win team. No, it's 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 terrific, and we talk about every journey is different, and next year, they have top 100 recruits coming in. So that'll be an interesting change. Policelli off on the three. Bolin trying to save it, but he was out of bounds. But this is what I like about what Coach Kelsey's doing. In coaching, you want to have a good team on offense and defense. Well, in recruiting, you want to be good at the portal and high school recruiting. And that's what Coach Kelsey's doing. CBS Sports celebrates black history, its limitless culture, and undeniable impact. Happy Black History Month from all of us at CBS Sports. John Fanta, Dr. John Giannini with you. There's a drive from Stevenson Moore and one for the bucket getter for the Seawolves. Such a frustrating game for Stevenson Moore because of the foul trouble. But we talked in the opening about his ability to succeed in one-on-one -on -one situations. Horton's a terrific defender, and there you see Stevenson Moore winning that battle. And he just hasn't been able to stay on the court long enough with foul trouble to get more of those opportunities. But one of the stats I always look at is minutes per game. How much does your coach trust you? Well, enough. It's easy to see this with Stevenson Moore. Number one in the CAA minutes played number two in america in minutes played per game coach board wants stevenson moore on the floor he only has 18 minutes today averages 38. that's 18 minutes due to four fouls chino ford 
has said, nobody works harder than Tyler Stevenson Moore. And that has rubbed off on the rest of this team as Roberts is off on the three. Look, this certainly isn't Stony Brook's best showing, but as you said, a lot to be optimistic towards for next year. This is a tough place to play, and they've had three really tough games playing on one day rest, and they do not have depth. And Policelli, though, having an outstanding game. But this is a team that literally has seven scholarship players and does not have the guard play that they anticipated. So they have everyone back, have these guys sitting out. They're going to be much more experienced, deeper. Horton knocking down the triple. The 10-3 for Charleston. That's their average. To your point on Policelli, 18 points today. Policelli leads the CA in double doubles and rebound. That's an offensive foul on Fitzmorris. That's his third. Taking us to a timeout. It is all Cougars well on their way to at least a share of the CAA regular season title. Frankie Policelli, though, doing his part for Stony Brook. Got a timeout, and we'll be back with more. You're watching the CAA on CBS Sports Network. No one can settle me. Don't you man of the free? That's what it takes to be a cowboy. PBR Unleash the Beast on CBS Sports Network. loved building things not just structures and skyscrapers but teams who make it all possible after all we wouldn't be where we are today without them so we made sure that like these buildings their futures may also stand the test of time Your morning coffee, hot, delicious, comforting. But by the third or fourth cup, your stomach might not feel so good. If that sounds like you, replace your afternoon cup with five-hour energy. It's perfect for when you're feeling coffeeed out. Coffee in the morning, five-hour energy after. Your stomach will thank you. Discover five-hour energy. If you want to go fast, go faster. And if you got the devil on your shoulder, take him for a ride. Up next, Deli Witch from Hot Pockets. Ham and cheese on delicious bread, a must pack for every parent. We now go to Matt, currently stuffing his face. Mm. Deli Witch from Hot Pockets. Awesomely portable. Oh, ready or not? The band blasting the Cupid Shuffle in TD Arena. It's all love for these Charleston Cougars. Coming up next, our coverage of College Hoops continues with a SoCon clash as top teams Furman and Sanford go head-to-head, -head, followed by some Patriot League play between Colgate and Navy at 4 Eastern. Then at 8, Western Kentucky takes on the defending CUSA champions UAB in Bowling Green. We wrap with number 22 San Diego State facing New Mexico. Catch it all here on CBS Sports Network. A massive game for the SOCOM regular season title. It'll be a red out at Sanford. The Bulldogs and Furman. Furman took the first meeting this season, Coach. Bucky McMillan has done an amazing job with Sanford. Their most wins since joining the conference. So that, that's going to be like a preview of a conference championship yeah. type atmosphere right there. A foul on Policelli on the three. It'll be a fun one in the SOCON, folks, continuing our six-game marathon. It's just such a great time of year. I mean, you know it, haven't been through the, the gauntlet, because in these leagues, these smaller leagues, tell me the dynamic of, okay, you've been the top team all season. 
near the conference tournament versus hey if we are in the middle of the pack in our league we still have a new season when we all arrive at that neutral site. So uh, I've done both. I lost two championship games in the America East at the University of Maine. And I very much agree with what Rick Pitino said. He said there's far more pressure in the low to mid major leagues. Because no matter what you've done, you have to win that last game. The reason I went to the Atlantic 10 is the Atlantic 10 has been a multi-bid league for years. Uh, we finished in third to, five to the Sweet 16. The league got five bids that year, so definitely the, the system is geared towards the multi-bid leagues. The, the, the low to mid-major leagues, so much pressure on the conference tournaments. By the way, that was the fourth foul on Policelli for Stony Brook. As we take a look at the seasons with multiple tournament bids, 2011 comes to mind. The fighting Shaka Smarts and BCU from first four to final four. So, Stevenson Moore is off. That's just it, coach, right? Get a ticket. Get a ticket to the tournament. Listen, you could make an argument that this Charleston team is very similar to the, the great VCU and George Mason teams. Wow. Those teams made runs with three-point shooters. I mean, it, it's... It, it, I remember Shaka Spartan telling me that, John, before our conference tournament, we were in a losing streak. People were actually upset with me. So we see it every year, like St. Peter's last year. It's the beauty of March. It's the magic of the NCAA tournament. And Charleston has that kind of Cinderella profile all over. When you've got nine players who have averaged over 15 minutes per game, let's revisit this resume. And you've been saying it, it, it should go a little bit beyond just the numbers at surface level. How come? I think the eye test is valid. And they did schedule hard. They had, frankly, North Carolina underachieve. They had some other teams that were in the NCAA tournament last year and are traditionally strong, uh, not perform to expectations. I, I don't know how you could penalize them when they did all the right things in scheduling and their on-court performance. Fitzmorris just has not been the Seawolf's day. Shooting 33% from the floor. And we saw that defense by Charleston on Thursday against Towson. Burn him! Can't miss! Feel the burn! 25 for 25! He's having a day. And that's, we've said it numerous times, with the depth in this team, you don't know who's going to step up. Burnham had four points against Towson. Here he is today having a career outing. Man, does it not sum up this program? Yeah. No one cares who gets the shot. The ball doesn't stick. There's no big iso ball. There's no one who dominates the ball. There's no one putting up huge points. This is a talented team that knows how to play together. To the corner. It's Horton. Their 12th trifecta. Another assist from a center on a skip pass. This team knows where to look to find the open person. It's on the other side of the floor. Their shoot around earlier this week on Thursday. As energetic of a shoot around that I have seen from the team all season. So connected. And you know it, Coach. How hard is it to have a ton of energy in the dog days of February where you're really getting deep? It's really hard, but this team is fresh. Oh, Rain Smith! Three straight threes, a Baker's dozen for the Cougars. Man, they are ending their regular season with a perfect punctuation point. And, and I do feel for Coach Ford right now. He has two Division I all-conference players who he expected to play out. He has his top recruit out with injury. Better days are ahead for the Seawolves. And they've been worn down. Three of the top ten teams, three of the top CA teams to close the season on the road. Not easy. Now a foul on five and Petway limping a little bit.
Well, one of the other toughest things in college basketball is winning on the road. You see Charleston with 11 road wins, most in college basketball. They have the most overall wins in college basketball. And that graph shows you that winning on the road is a separator. And even these outstanding teams who will get in, some of these teams that will get into the NCAA tournament, they have losing road records. That highlights the difficulty of winning away from home. Think about those teams all in the bubble conversation as well. Something to be said about going away from home and having 11 victories. These Cougars, as you see, Pat Kelsey's going to clear his bench now. Gordon, my goodness. They've hit four straight threes, folks. Raekwon Horton has 14 points. Three of them off skip passes. And the ball not touching the floor. Think about this. Not a lot of dribbling. The ball moving. And that's another sign of chemistry. I always said in chemistry, there's a three from the corner off for the Seawolves. But to me, IQ and chemistry is how well do you pass the ball. And Charleston making a statement in that area of the game. Passing wonderfully. Does this not sum up, Charleston, a season-high 60 bench points? And they're celebrating here in Charleston at TD Arena. An amazing scene on Senior Day. And the look on those faces is that they're just getting started. Allergies don't have to be scary. Defeat allergy headaches fast with new Flonase Headache and Allergy Relief. Two pills relieve allergy headache pain. And the congestion that causes it. Flonase Headache and Allergy Relief. All good. T-Mobile has the new Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus for free and price lock guarantee. Do you? Well. 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 well yes. Switch to T-Mobile and get a free Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus with no trade-in required. Create an amazing website with Fiverr. You'll need your web developer, UX writer, and Amy, a Fiverr freelance graphic designer with dozens of five-star reviews who will join your team from her favorite coffee shop. Don't forget to tip. Expand your team with a Fiverr freelancer. This is the future of foundational nutrition. AG1 lets you drink your vitamins, minerals, probiotics, and so much more. One scoop, once a day. Learn more at athleticgreens.com. DealDash.com, where deals come true. This KitchenAid mixer sold for less than $26. This iPad sold for less than $43. And this brand new Xbox sold for $51. Go to DealDash.com right now and see how much you can save. When my home smells fresh, I feel at ease. My friend Bryson over here, well, he could use some help. Pretty Litter's crystals absorb odor on contact, is 99% dust free, and delivers right to my door. Ready to make the switch? Go to prettylitter.com. Are you being audited? And do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Is the IRS threatening to take more of your money? Don't fight the IRS alone. The tax doctor is here to help you negotiate your tax bill and reduce your stress. If you owe $10,000 or more in back taxes, do not call the IRS alone. Call a tax doctor now for a tax emergency analysis. Clyde, the Charleston Cougars mascot. Does this not look fun? Ben Burnham is certainly having plenty of fun today. He's got a career-high 25 points. What's impressed you about him? Versatility. He's shooting threes. He's driving. He's offensive rebounding. You see body control there, even while he's falling. He made a nice reverse earlier in the late game with great body control, too. 25 points, 10 of 13 from the floor. And again, folks, you can't stress this enough, Coach, in my opinion. He was a starter last year. He was told you're going to come off the bench this season. Well, co coaches get too much blame when things don't go well. And there's Scott for three. And too much credit sometimes when things do go well. Now, Coach Kelsey put this team together, so he deserves all the credit in the world for that. And they have a fantastic, unique style of play. But make no mistake, they have terrific players. Listen to the crowd, folks, on Senior Day.
That's an appreciation for history. For a 27 and 3, soon to be 28 and 3 season. The best regular season by a team in the history of the CAA from a record perspective. Policelli puts it in. Their leading scorers in his seventh season of college didn't have a single scholarship offer at any level coming out of high school. Their starting big man didn't have a single offer coming out of high school from Croatia. People said he couldn't make it in America. Another starter averaged four points as a senior in high school. He spent four years in the NAIA ranks. Their clutch shot maker, Pat Robinson III, started his college career at a Division II school in Philadelphia. He lived on a couch. Charleston is America's college basketball team. John, you, you, you put it perfectly. What a collection of stories. How much fun would it be to see this team in the NCAA tournament? It would be a lot of fun. And I'm just telling you, as a coach, this is not a vanilla team. This is a very unique style of play. The way they run, the way they rebound, the way they shoot threes, and the overall intensity that they play with, they're outliers. They're better, I'm telling you, than a lot of people will realize. Three doesn't go for Spencer Leg. We've seen Pat Kelsey clear the bench. These are the guys, as you know, Coach, getting an opportunity late in the game who work in practice environments. If the world were walk-ons and managers, it would be a beautiful world. And I mean this with great sincerity. The people in the game now rarely get attention. They don't have scholarships. They are there for the team. They want to be a part of something. And they're givers, not takers. Listen to this crowd. Does this not show what college basketball can do in a community as well? It, there's nothing you can have on a college campus that is more fun <laughs> or more unifying. That's why one of the reasons administrators want good sports teams, it, as you said, it brings people together in such a positive way. It really does. And I just know, and it's one of the reasons we do what we do, John, is there's not many places in life where you could experience these kind of emotions. Yeah. Charleston has no problems as a community partying and celebrating. There's a deep three that sends everybody into elation. Jack Miller. And you see his teammates in the crowd erupting because they appreciate Jack Miller and what fellow walk-ons do for sacrifice and dedication in the work they put in. Six 90-point game of the season for the Cougars. Corner three off. Muratori with the offensive rebound here for Stony Brook. Lampton with the board. Final minute on this magical ride. Catch and shoot. Is a little bit long for Dylan Ritter. Lampton. Say, fans, keep your eye on Muratori, the big man who's in the game now. He's seven foot three, and he can move. He's a great project for Coach Ford to work with in the coming years. Now the Cougars will clinch at least a share of the regular season title as. That three falls for Petway. He certainly has some game. Shot clock off, and that'll do it. They will have scoreboard watching. Hofstra plays Northeastern on Long Island at two. If the Pride win, they'll be the one seed in the CAA tournament. Charleston will be the two. But on the final day of the regular season, you see Gino Ford congratulating Pat Kelsey. On the final day of the regular season, the Charleston Cougars showcase why this has been a historic journey. The Cougars clinch a 